Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Mod Library, my Wednesday, every Wednesday series where I spotlight new and awesome mods that are out. This one is over on Mod Database, it's for the original Company of Heroes, which is probably one of the best real-time strategy games ever made. I love that game. Anyways, this is Modern Combat, and I like the name suggests it takes Company of Heroes, which is set in World War II, and ups it to the modern era. So. You've got the U.S. Marines fighting the Chinese forces. It's got a campaign. Now, I haven't played too much of the campaign. I'm playing a lot of the skirmish. But the early mission of the campaign has you uh, heading in on the beach and getting a beachhead, a front for a assault on the Chinese mainland. And it's pretty cool. You've got some uh, Marine scouting special forces that are sneaking in, taking out communication arrays and anti-aircraft. Pretty neat stuff. But we're going to jump into skirmish, and I'll show some of the units off. Now, this is total conversion, so they replaced... All, they're trying to replace all the assets, um, which you will see how much they've gotten through so far. Now, one thing that's kind of weird about Company of Heroes that I found is you've got to actually launch a game in Skirmish before you can load a saved Skirmish game. Yeah, it took me forever to figure that out. So if you're ever trying to load your game, go into a Skirmish. Now, they've changed out the uh, the command trees in Company of Heroes. You choose what kind of commander you want to be. Do you want to be an airborne commander, an armor, and normally a support commander? Those are the three in the original game. And this seems to follow suit. All right, let's take a look at what we got. The U.S. command for the army. You have the army and the marines you can play as. I can only play as the army, and I think it's because on my Steam version of the game, I only own the uh, whichever expansion gave you the English forces. I don't have access to the other one. So if you have all the expansions, you'll probably get a lot more content out of this. But there you go. U.S. Army. Army of Engineers. Corps of Engineers. Very badass. They've got the tack vests on. they got M4s. Uh, but as you can hear... Hopefully you can hear that. They haven't changed out the sounds. On, at least not well, for the U.S. Yeah, they still pretty much match, so it's not a big deal. Build another group of engineers and go ahead and research infantry command and show what you can build real quick. So the basic defensive structures are all the same, but now you get the tow emplacement. It's their anti-tank emplacement. You shoot a tow missile out of it, and it can turn in any direction, which is a nice benefit. Uh, as for structures, only three infantry headquarters. You get mechanized, and then you get the armor headquarters. All... Fairly easy to build. They use fuel, so there's kind of a time progression that isn't too ridiculous. You can get matches that go really fast and are very intense. The three command structures are air superiority, so that would be your airborne version from the original game. Close area battle, which I think is support. I haven't tried them, uh, but I have gotten a lot of play time as the armored warfare and the air superiority. So, let's go ahead and get into a later match. I'll load up a game. You can see some of the late game units. Uh, Air Cav. I really enjoy the Air Cav because it's the, their army rangers and they'll repel out of Blackhawks. That's how they've replaced the, uh, the Airborne from the original game. Totally worth it. So let's see what's going on here. Check my battle map. We got a, uh, M2A3 Bradley infantry fighting vehicle, which is awesome. And I have the upgrade to give it, oh, I don't have the upgrade. Oh yeah, I do. To give it the missile launcher. Oh yeah, lots of fun. As you upgrade your uh, your units get experience, you'll be able to take offensive and defensive bonuses. Here's an infantry squad that's already on the ground. I guess they're having a little bit of a bug. Their weapons kind of aren't showing up, but let's show off the air assault. So we're losing this point back here. This is behind enemy lines. So let's reinforce it. And the army rangers show up, drop their repel lines and hit the deck. Really a nice touch. Animations are pretty good. The level of detail is fantastic. They do have like, you know, the the proper weapons. They've got M4s, M6 teams, MK11s. Um, they've got their TAC vests on. You can upgrade them with uh, MAWs, with M3 MAWs, which you get the anti, anti tank capability out of them. Allowing you to drop forces anywhere on the map, just like the Airborne from the original game. Now this is a map from the normal game, but they do have a collection of maps for the expansion, or for the mod. Let's see if we can start some shit real quick. 
vehicles range from the Jeeps have been replaced with Humvees, which you can upgrade. Like this one has the uh, the automated system upgrade, so the gunner is actually inside, and you can see he's got the laptop and everything. He's controlling the, uh, the machine gun up there. Oh shit! Chinese have all their intriguing units. They've got this rocket tank that loves to harass my position. It's fairly irritating. So let's get the Bradley on it. All the vehicles are you know, scripted in a way that they have weak points on the armor just like the original game. So if I can swing this Bradley around the back, I'll put a missile in his ass. See you in hell. All right, so I hit him in the side. Now he's out of control. Get out of the way. And that has just made dynamic cover. So infantry can use that as cover. Not something that the mod added, but just a feature I love in this game. You can see you got a striker. APC, which has been outfitted with the missile launcher, so I can't actually hold troops in there. They have a long-barreled anti-tank version of it that you can build. You can drop aerial supplies, which I haven't tried yet, actually. I think that just gives you a bonus to resource gathering. Okay. Let's try an air AT strafing run. Come on. We're going to bring in... Oh, he's going to be dead. Oh, well. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Come on. A-10. Oh, he was just outside the the giant gun that that aircraft has and the last ability they get is eye in the sky which is a predator drone will fly over sadly it won't shoot even though it is a predator drone and it has the weapons equipped or it is a reaper drone it won't actually shoot at anything but it'll give you some give you eyes on say there's a yeah there's a t-59 battle tank main battle tank for the for russians i must be fighting a, uh, a tank commander Pretty cool. I mean, it's it's fun. With the new units and the new balance, it's pretty badass. Let's go ahead and load up an army command save that I've got going. Uh, an army command. A, a armor command save. It's mid-late game save, just like that one was. I probably could have taken out the enemy three or four times over. I just wanted to test out units. They... Yeah, this one's a mid-game. I don't have the Paladin self-propelled howitzer cannon yet, which is the last thing they get. But I do have the M1 Abram, which I have yet to pull in. So in this game, I've been pushed back. The enemy has kind of boxed me in. But, oh, I don't have the power manpower yet. So we're gonna have to just survive a few more seconds and let that manpower trickle in. They keep harassing my position with light BMPs, these light troop transports. But they haven't been able to get through my defense. And mainly, as you can see, the tow launcher back here is just a beast. Ah, oh, that's too bad. It seems if you load a save, it'll break their guns. Maybe he'll fix a little later. Got a mortar, mortar team back here. Some of the other units, uh, heavy machine gunners have been replaced with saw gunners. Sadly, you can't see their gun because it's broken right now. I love what they did with the sniper. The sniper comes as a single unit like he does in the original game, but if you upgrade him, he'll get his spotter. That's the guy with the uh, with the M4 right here. Now, I can take the observer and tell him to put his weapon away and pull out his binoculars, and that will increase his line of sight, allowing him to spot targets farther out and take them on. All right, we got an enemy battle tank there. It's time to call in our own. <coughs> Excuse me. M1 Abrams main battle tank. I love this tank. It's a beast. Sadly, you can only get one. The sloped armor allows the rounds to bounce off of it. Fairly realistic. Yeah, T-59 doesn't have a chance. And he's turned around, so I'm gonna have nice, easy rear armor hits to take him out, shooting those depleted uranium rounds. I love it, I love it. And the models, the models look fantastic. I mean, look at this Abram. Let's get zoomed in on this sucker. This mod author knows what he's doing. And to be honest, this is probably the best modern day uh, infantry fighting strategy game that you're going to get outside of World of Conflict, which is set in like the 80s. So if you're looking for a modern day RTS where infantry actually have to worry about cover, you can have machine gunners that put down suppression fire and keep infantry immobilized while your armor comes in and stops their ass, this is the one 
This is the one that you should probably try. Full push. We're gonna die. <laughs> Pulled a couple Humvees up. Nope, come on. I'm broke. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this episode of Mod Library, the series is every Wednesday where I spotlight a new kick-ass. Hello, Chinese main base. A new kick-ass mod that is out. Uh, then, hey, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to this channel. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.